welcome. Just trimming up this grapevine wreath. We're gonna we're gonna use a grapevine wreath tonight. <laughs> I'm waiting for some more people to jump on. What's it, everybody eating dinner? Cooking dinner? Eat mine real quick. Kind of hard when you've got a grandson here trying to get a dinner prepared. I'm just trimming up the grapevine that we're going to use tonight. We're making a strawberry wreath, Willie and I, for Tag Team Tuesday. How's everybody doing? How was your weekend? What's up, everybody? I'm going to use one of my farmhouse signs for this wreath. I always have fears of cutting too much and then the whole wreath falling apart. <laughs> There are some stragglers that are going to get stuck on me and the door. So I just want to trim some of them off. <laughs> hey, Nanny Dot. Nanny Dot stopped by today and she got to see my grandson. And she picked up some more hats for me. So there will be some... Um, Scarecrow gnomes being made now that I got hats. Ugh, that's hot, Willie. Really hot. Okay. I think we're good on what I got off of that. Oh, there's another one. The reason I got a hammer out was because I was going to smash the heck out of this Bodabra that I keep telling everyone I'm going to go out and buy a new one. Well, my GFF, BFF, GFF, oh my gosh, her, Willie, and her husband sent me a brand new Bodabra. So now I can really take this outside and take a hammer to it. I'm not going to do it in here because <laughs> I'm afraid we'd have it flying everywhere. And like I said, I couldn't find the safety glasses. So all this tape that I've had on here holding it together that's messed up because it's got all glitter sticking to it. Awesome. We can now break it apart and get rid of it. Hi, Steve. Thank you. So there it goes. There's my bow, my old Bodabra, only to make room for my new Bodabra. Thank you, Willie and Steve. Wasn't that sweet of them? I promise I won't put this on my chair, so I won't sit on it like I did the old one. <laughs> so, and look, I never had this part of it before. This is what you use to push the bow down in place when you have your wire in there. So, awesome saws. And look at even, this is one thing I never had either was the CD with all the information. So, that is so cool. But what, I was so shocked to get that. I'm like, I didn't, I, I didn't order anything. And I opened the box and saw they had sent me a bow dabra. And look. It sticks. Isn't that awesome? So thank you. I was I was beyond thrilled. That was just so sweet of the two of you. I just and it's funny because that weekend I was gonna make the trip to Michael's and get one. So that was just awesome. 
You can tell I don't get out much. <laughs> All right, so this is the sign we're going to, oh, there's that old old spring that I used to go looking for all the time. We're going to use this. It says Burry Farms Farmer's Market. This is one of my farmhouse signs. So I put a link to my Etsy store. Um, and I keep playing with this. Like I want to do something. I don't want to do it like I normally do. I kind of want to do something different. I don't like mounting it like that. Well, that looks kind of different. What do you think? Like that? Put the bow over here and then put green. Hey, there we go. Let's do it that way. What the heck? Something different. Yeah. There's another one sticking out. Let's do that. Let's just mount that there in the corner. So let's use my new Bodabra because I started working with it and I, <laughs> I thought I ran out of strawberry ribbon. I had a customer order some today off me and it's like, oh no, don't tell me that was the last roll. And no, it wasn't. So we're good. So I'm going to start with this as the background. And I, ha I don't have any more of this in my shop now. That was the last one. I'm looking for my big scissors. Mm, don't see them. All right, we'll use these. <laughs> so yes, we're gonna use this. Actually, I kind of like doing this outside the Bodabra and then making my loops and then the Bodabra holding it. I like doing it that way. And this wreath base is a 15 inch grapevine wreath base. And what I do here is I always go like this to measure up to make sure that both loops are the same size. And I think I'm gonna do about five. On this one it was so nice to get that because I fight with it every time and I don't know what I can do to fix the the, uh, the easy bow maybe I should just contact the company and say why does that peg keep falling out and maybe they can advise me on what to do you think Strawberries are in season here. I just like it to hold my bow in place. Just so I can put the rest of the layers on there. That's all I wanted. Alright. Now. Now that I have that. I think I'm going to use the black next. Okay. This just has little white raised um, lines in it. I had started my bow and then thought, well, that's dumb. Use your bow dabra. So, and I cut it too short. So, I need. A little more. Hey Karen. How are ya? We are making a grapevine wreath tonight using my Berry Farms farmhouse um, strawberry sign. And we're going to put it right there. And I'm making my bow using the Bodabra that Steve and Wilhelmina just bought for me and sent it to me as a surprise. Then I think I'm going to add a little bit of this color because this color kind of matches the stripes in there. 
So I'm going to pull a little bit of that color out. Oops, I need to leave my, my uh, tail. And for those of you that ordered today, your orders are going out tomorrow. You guys, you freaked me out. What an amazing supportive community. Holy cow. I woke up to a ton of orders. And don't worry if it looks like um, the snow, um, the snowman ribbon is sold, is going to sell out soon, but that's okay because I'm ordering more. So don't feel you have to hurry. I was shocked. I've been trying all weekend to get those signs listed and then had to go visit my new grandson. So I didn't get them listed. And then when I did, my Etsy store blew up. Wow. Amazing. Hey, Denise. How are you? Oh, and I want to take this time to kind of do a small moment of silence for Connie Goki. Um, she passed away unexpectedly on June 11th. And she was fighting leukemia for a while. And she had told me when we had our sign contest that um, she wanted a sign that says it is what it is and she wanted a green border and she wanted the leukemia ribbon in there so i went ahead and i put this this wording on there for her and couldn't understand why i hadn't heard back from her and her granddaughter contacted me to tell me that she had passed so i am going to be taking this sign and sending it to her family because i kind of feel that Right now, this might be of some comfort to them because it happened so unexpectedly. But I am going to put this sign in my store. And like I said, I'm going to remove the lettering. And anytime this sign is sold, I'm going to donate a dollar from that sign to uh, the Leukemia Foundation in Connie's name. So. I just kind of wanted to share the story behind how this sign came about. Um, she was pretty special. She was on here a lot supporting me and making fun of all of us complaining about not being able to have our hair cut during uh, this pandemic um, because she had no hair. And she said, you know, it's just hair. So. She was pretty special to me and to a lot in the reefing community. So again, I will be putting this in my shop and every time one is sold, I will be donating a dollar to, towards the Leukemia uh, Association or Foundation, whatever it's called, in her name um, because she's gonna be really missed in this community and I felt like she hasn't really it hasn't really sunk in but then again I feel like a lot of people don't know and I feel like there should have been more there should have been more talk there should have been more appreciation because um, she meant a lot to a lot of people so if you um, are interested in donating, uh, you know, and want to purchase this sign. Um, I was so excited to show it to her when it was finished and I kept waiting for a response and waiting for a response and was not expecting that response from her granddaughter who she was raising. So, um, yeah, so I just felt I had to, had to, talk a little bit about her because um, she was such a special person. I had just had a couple months ago made a logo for her. She was getting ready to do her first live and it never happened. And uh, I guess that's a lesson kind of to all of us. Yes, I did, Denise. I, I, will, I will get back to you on that. Um, 
I was just really excited for her to see it because I felt this is exactly what she had in mind. So I'm hoping this sign is going to give her family some comfort. Um, so again, that's just a little bit about um, Connie. So, all right, sorry, but I just felt I just needed to talk a little bit about her. Because I know a lot of you knew her, and I know a lot of you always saw her on here. And um, I've been reading the posts. She has a Facebook page, and there's been a lot of posts on there on her Facebook page. And, you know, things happen, but I think, I think this sign... It's just kind of, I finally decided, you know, since she didn't, since it didn't seem at the time to be important, I felt at the time it was important, so I figured I'd surprise her with it. Not that she would surprise me and not be there to, to see it, but I know she's with us and I'm sure, I'm sure she'll see it and I'm sure her family will, uh, get some some comfort out of out of the sign if not to remember her so I will be doing that on a, a live soon um, because the sign has a lot of like succulents in the background and I thought I really want to make this wreath and maybe maybe make the wreath and donate it and let them or or do an auction or something with it to raise money for the foundation but in her name so um, that's what I'll do there was a reason that I made the sign when I did and there was a reason that her family got in touch with me and there's a reason that I need to do something for her so hi Dawn yeah I think I think I think it's the right thing to do and uh I kind of feel like she was guiding me to do that. So, okay, sorry, I'll, enough. I'll keep moving along here. But yeah, it's a pretty special lady. And I'm gonna miss her a lot. Dawn and Denise, I don't think you saw at the beginning my new Bo Dabra that Willie and her husband sent me. Look, it even has the little thingy. I never had the little thingy. <laughs> so I'm just like, I was surprised beyond surprised. So what a special thing for them to do for me. So. But we were talking about Denise, or not Denise, oh, Connie, who is no longer with us, and the sign that we've, that I designed for her, and now we're going to send it to her family, and we're going to raise money with it. So, that's what I'm sure she would have wanted. Why did I do that before I put the thing through there? Oh, wow, that's awesome. I made a sign for Dawn that said hairdresser on it, and her hairdresser loved it. That's a nice thing to do for her, because I'm sure, that, you know, she's been without income during all this, and to have something special like that. Why did I do that? Now I'm trying to slip it under there. And I'm going to probably have to use a pipe cleaner. Maybe that'll work better. There it goes. I still have to show um, a picture of it, Dawn. I have it. <laughs> I have just been... You have no idea 
how um, burned out I was last week. So yeah, it was a crazy week. I'm glad it's over. So now I can get back to business. And I know there's a few that are asking for signs and I will get to them one at a time. Oh, look at that though, isn't she pretty? <laughs> oh my gosh, that is pitiful. And it wasn't the Bodabra's fault, it was mine. <laughs> We had a new grandson born last week and he's here and um, finally and and then we're watching our other grandson and I've had boarders because I watch my puppy parents dogs while they're away and a litter of puppies and my Etsy store blew up today so <laughs> It has been insane. Hi, Joy. How are you? Welcome. We're doing a berry wreath. Strawberries. And we're using the Berry Farms Farmer's Market farmhouse sign. Oh, and I need your opinion. Okay. I... I can't decide which one to release and when that happens you know what happens then I end up releasing both of them okay this was the first one okay it's got the three borders you've got the gold you've got the burlap you've got the black okay and then there's this one which one do you think which one do you like? This one or this one? Let's see, how can we... Green border, gold border. So I want your vote on that. And tell me which one you like best. So we're doing the bow for this. Because I think I want it to kind of look and see see now I'm not liking that on this one it's too it's too it's too big okay we're downsizing we want it smaller so come on Willie says the gold. Dawn says the first one. The first one being the gold border or the green border, Dawn? See, I can't decide. I just think this one was too big. So I think I'm going to go with a bigger um, gray flag. Had a bigger one. What I do with it? Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, people. I had the bigger one. Okay, let me just make sure that this will still work. Yes, it will. All right, this one is actually an 18 inch grapevine. So that would have worked for my bow. So, but I think. See, I was trying to pull some of this color out of here, but I'm not sure. Okay, we've got the black, we've got the white. 
Got the yellow. Oh, brother. All right, let's put this back in here. And let's see. I just think this bow was just too big for the smaller one. So that's why I decided to go down. But I'm trying to figure out if I want to use a bigger... Um, it's almost like a... Wait a minute. I think I'm going to use some of this. Let me see what that'll look like in the back. Looks different. Alright, I'm going to use some of this. Hi, Faith. How are you? Welcome, Nancy. Where are you watching from? Oh, okay, you told me. Brooklyn, New York. Sorry, I didn't see it. Well, welcome. So glad you could join us. We're making a strawberry wreath. And I just went ahead and changed the grapevine already because the bow I made was a little too big, I think, for, for the smaller. So we're redoing it. I love that you shared. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. just kind of got a, a little off topic there and talking about my sign for for Connie the one that um, passed away unexpectedly so gonna be using the sign to donate to leukemia so I'm excited To be doing that in her in her name I know what I want and I'm not seeing that one either I have a ribbon let me see what this is gonna look like on here see I, I really kind of want to make this look farmhouse so I'm ditching that ribbon and I'm gonna put some of this in here this tan with the black I love this. It's very much appreciated, and I'm so glad you found me. So what, what were everybody's thoughts on the sign? Did you like the gold or the green border? What's your take on it? And I gotta keep watching my time because Willie goes next. It's Tank Team Tuesday, and Willie's on um, Wall Decor by Faye. And I know she's on here, so maybe she can share her link. Okay, Nancy likes the gold. Willie likes the gold. All right, then I think. I'm going to use this. So I think I'm ditching this one and ditching the, the blue. And we're just going to go with these four. I think that's... Because I got some yellow to put in here. And so that's why I'm adding this yellow. And I'll tell you what, it's really hard to find strawberries this time of year in the floral business. You can't find them. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. I like that color combination better. Whoa, great. Sometimes it just takes a restart. So I wanna make it look farmhouse. And I think these colors are gonna do it. Hey Johnny, how are you? Welcome. Thank you. She was a pretty special lady. She was quiet. She was in our group, but uh, 
she left a pretty big impression on me. And when I decided to do the sign, I couldn't figure out why she wasn't getting back to me. And I know she took care of her granddaughter. So I know her granddaughter was very special to her. And it was her granddaughter that that reached out to me to tell me she had passed unexpectedly. So this is the sign that she had asked me to make for her because she had fought leukemia and won. And she said, this is what got her through. It is what it is, she said. And it has to have a green border. And I want those words in black. And so that's what I came up with. So we're going to now be selling this sign. I'm going to remove this because this isn't for everybody. So this saying will be removed and I'm going to put it on in my Etsy shop and for everyone I sell, I'm going to donate to the Leukemia Foundation in her name um, because I think that's what she would want. So, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. So if I miss somebody coming on, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. It's Tag Team Tuesday. I go on first this week and then Willie goes on after me. And I'm using my new bow dabber that they bought me. So now I'm going to have trouble with all these little jiggers that I didn't cut off of this one. All right. So let's put our bow. I'm going to go down here with our bow. And I'm sorry, I just cannot use wire. I hate it. And I found a company to get neutral colored tinsel ties from. So I will be ordering those for all the, of the, those that watch me. They know how much I despise pipe cleaners. So um, I will have some neutral tinsel ties in my Etsy store, which is awesome. All right, come on now. I'm bound and determined to do this. So despite the day, or the week that I've had. So bear with me. If I don't finish it today, I will do part two tomorrow because Willie is next. There we go. There. Woohoo! All right, so let's fluff this out try and work it down and fluff it. I like that black and tan in there. Ooh, that pops. I like it. I like it. something different. And I love the yellow in there. I think I've lost some of your comments here. So yes, I do, Kathy. Yes, I do. Um, I did put in the comments a link to my Etsy shop. So yes, I've been doing a lot of custom ones lately and also um, the signs I'm making, I'm also making um, garden flags to match. Isn't that cool? You'll have a nice sign on your, on your door and then you'll have a garden flag to match the sign. I just think that is so cool. Because see, most of us, a lot of people like to make a wreath and then make a bow for their mailbox to match. Well, my mailbox is all the way out by the road. So, 
Nobody's going <laughs> nobody's gonna to see the wreath on my door with my mailbox down by the road. So, I love these colors together. Holy cow. They pop. All right, we're just dovetailing. Cut this a little shorter. There, I like that better. How's that look? Get rid of my pipe cleaner here. Bury that. A little play on words. Bury. Uh, I know, right? Look at that. Look at that tan. And then pulling the black out of there. And then pulling the black out of there. And the yellow out of there. That, that is just... Fabulous. All right, and then our sign is going to go up here. So what I'm going to do is my my um, florals are going to go up this way. All right. Now, starting out with some just ordinary fern, and I'm going to build the fern up towards the sign. anybody been blueberry picking yet this year? We have blueberries in our neck of the woods. I thought I had three and three, but I guess I don't. That's okay, because we got more stuff to put in here. Hey, Sue. How are you? little bit off of this one. I'm going to probably go back and glue these in, but I'm going to dry fit them now in case I decide I want to change it. All right. Now, I went ahead and I made some little blueberry picks because this is all I could find. Everybody's sold out of blueberry picks. So, I made my own. Some little white flowers with some yellow centers in there. And hot glued the strawberry there too. You guys see okay? If you can't, let me know. I'll put a little more on this side than on that side since we have less fern on this side. And what I'm doing is I'm just zigzagging them. Then I have some of this to fill in. I have some boxwood to fill in. I have some yellow flowers to fill in. I have some white flowers and I have some smaller flowers to add to. So, oh, that's nice. There's strawberries, Kathy. So now I'm just filling in with some um, filler. I like this. This is just from one of my florals. Just trying to make it look 
whimsy, whimsical, wispy, you name it. Okay, now we're going to put some of these in. And then we're going to put some yellow flowers in. And then we're going to mount our sign. And our sign is going to go like that. And if I miss any of your comments, I will try and go back at the end real quick because they disappear if they don't. So if you ask me a question and I don't answer it within 24 hours, message me. And I know a lot of you have entered the, the contest too by... Uh, logging in and subscribing to my um, YouTube channel and once you do that you send me your email address and I put your name in for the drawing once I hit a thousand we're going to give away five signs you're going to get to pick what signs you want I've got some little white flowers here Actually, I think I'm going to start by putting in some of these. And um, Michael's is having a really good sale on their florals right now. 60% off on their summer florals. <coughs> Excuse me. But I thought it'd be neat to add some yellow pop in here. I have to fix my bow again. something to bring that color back to the front with all this green. Great. And then this is got this up there too. I was looking to see if there was a tag as far as what it was called but there wasn't. No, I don't like that in there. Yuck. But I like these little things. So I'm gonna stick some of this in there. Just a little bit of color. This just says bush garb. That tells us a lot, doesn't it? Ooh. Gotta put that back on. I always like pushing the leaves up near the flowers because they have a, this uh, leaf has a little bit of a different texture than the leaves I already have in there. One side so far. And let's do the other side. And then we will mount our sign. Let's put a little of this over here. little more off. It's a little bit 
of a hole there. So what can we fill in there? We can put another one of these in there. Or we can double up on this. it but I didn't like those. Let me see. Nope, I think this is good. Alright, let's mount our sign and then see what we think. Alright. Sorry, I'm not watching your oh 70% off. Wow. Well, ours said 60, so maybe by now. Nancy, I will try and send you that link. Actually, I can do it right now. I can link it for you. Send you the link. I mean, I'll put the link in the comments for you. And then just go ahead. The YouTube one is there. Also, the link to um, my other page, which is Robin's Wreath Signs and More. And if you sign on there, you'll learn of the release of my newest signs. There you go. And everything's on there okay and there's even coupon codes on there occasionally so now I'm trying to figure out how I want to disguise this ribbon I mean this wire thank you I had a little berry basket that I wanted to put on here, but it's made of paper. If there's a way I can figure out how to uh, waterproof it, it's going to end up on here. So, how am I on time? Oh, got seven minutes before Willie goes on. She makes the coolest signs and wreaths, too. Amazing. And balls. <laughs> she makes the cutest decorative balls. You got to check them out. I left my uh, needle upstairs, of course. So I have to do this different. Look at those colors. I mean, wow. I may go back and just add some extra strawberries in here. Like clumps of them. I think that would be cool. Okay, so that goes there. there and then this one will go over here right there look how bright and cheery that is problem is I fall in love with my wreaths and then I don't want to sell them <laughs> oh okay Willie's going to be a couple minutes late she's still working through easy, didn't it? I got my strawberries on Amazon. $11 for the bag. Because 
because nobody had any left. And this is one of the signs in my farmhouse collection. Um, there's several. This one, I'm going to have to go up higher because it's not sitting right. Let's just move that and go for it. Then I have one more sign to show you that I've just fallen in love with. Still not right. Still needs to go up higher. Sometimes what I do is I put a spacer under there, and I may have to do that. Sometimes I use those balls, those like um, balls from um, Dollar Tree, and sometimes I just attach them right to the wreath, and it's just an extra little platform for the sign to sit on. I'll show you. Sometimes I just go under here and I glue them right to the grapevine wreath and it's just enough of a spacer to hold it and it visually just disappears with grapevine. And then see, it just holds it in place. Simple, simple. Sometimes that's all you need in your design is one of those Dollar Tree balls. Uh, thank you. Okay, Nancy, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, go on and send me a message through here with your um, email address. And then your name goes in the hat for the sign drawing. That's how we roll. Just trying to bury my wire in here. And then I will hot glue this to there, to the grapevine wreath. And then I think we need to add some more strawberries here and there, like double up on some. Make bunches of them. Once I glue them into place, then I can glue these into place too. So we got one, and then up here we'll put two, and so on. What do you think? Thoughts? Yes, through Messenger. Yep, just go up and send me a message. And then your name gets centered in the drawing. I have a bunch of people that have sent me messages, and I have to go in and add their names. Okay, what do we think? Minus the ones that are falling. <laughs> I think it's very cheery, don't you? But that's one in my farmhouse series. Now this one, I can't wait to use this one. Isn't that adorable? And look at all those browns and greens and oranges. That's going to be pretty. And then I'm not sure on this one. I'm still playing with this one. But that's what I got so far. Hey, Vicki. Vicki, I'm still working on your sign. And hopefully I'll get to the Aloha pineapple wreath too soon. And I'm almost sold out of this the uh, snowman uh, ribbon. Don't panic. There's more coming in. You guys went absolutely crazy on me. And I didn't expect that kind of response. So I need to order some more ribbon. I already have it in my cart. And I was already assured it would be in by next week. So don't worry. 
we will be fine. All right, guys. It looks like it's 7 o'clock. Now, I think Willie put the link into her, into hers. I'm going to do it right now in case she didn't. Let me, let me grab hers. It's Wall Decor by Faye. And she's on next. That's how it's spelled. Wall Decor by Faye. And this is Tag Team Tuesday. We're doing this every Tuesday. Okay. All right. And I put in the links to all my pages. And make sure you register. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and register for the drawing. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow at 2. All right. Thanks for joining me. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.